Hey, what's going on everybody? So today I'm gonna to be making a video of a Tesla that I just picked up. It's a Model 3. I'm going to be making a video on changing out the in-cabin air filter as well as cleaning the evaporator system behind the air filters. So these are gonna be the parts that you're gonna need. I bought these two in-cabin in air filters through Tesla. Um, I also purchased this on Amazon. This is uh, a foam that cleans the evaporator system. This is the hose that I purchased. I'm gonna attach to here just to uh, ensure whenever it sprays, it kind of whips around and cleans um, all throughout the evaporator system. These are gonna be the tools that you're gonna need um, to be able to do the install. Uh, just, I'm gonna be using two flathead screwdrivers and a Torx 20. I'm also gonna be making a video for, if you're interested, in the steps to use the paint repair kit and kind of the quality of it. And this is the spot that I will be doing. It's a pretty good size, about the size of a quarter. I'll also uh, make a video checking the quality after a couple weeks to a month or so. All right, let's get started. All right, so I know there are other videos on YouTube on how to do this, but all of them seem to be 15 to 20 minutes to do a pretty basic job. So let's see how quickly we can do this. So you're gonna start by removing four clips underneath. I've, I've already lowered three of them and there's gonna be one more right here. You're gonna take a flathead screwdriver on both sides and pull it down as I've done to the rest of them. They pop right out. Then this entire plastic bezel will come out. So once you have this drop down, you're gonna remove these two clips. Once that's removed, we're gonna be removing this side here. Just do that by pulling on the top. And it's also a good idea to remove the carpet. All right, so now that I have that side paneling removed, where we're gonna be replacing the filters are, is gonna be right along here. We're gonna move the yellow cable. It pops right out. And then there is a Torx right on the top, as you can see. And then that entire plastic cover will come off. As I said before, the screw on the top the plastic cover is a Torx 20 and it comes out very easily with a small ratchet. Comes off very easily and then shows the filter. There's one, and when you're taking them out, be cognizant of the air flow. As you can see, the arrow is pointing this direction because that's the flow of the air, and that will be the direction that the filter will be able to filter out the air. Make sure you remember that when you're placing the new one. And I got quite a bit of dirt in this one. 
And that's exactly why it's good to do these quite often. So I'm gonna vacuum this up and then I'm going to use my foam to clean out the evaporator system. All right, so now that I've cleaned out my workspace, before I put these two filter, the new filters back in, I'm gonna clean out my evaporator system. How I'm gonna do that is I am going to use this foam and the hose, insert the hose directly into the evaporator, and I am going to try and fill it up completely. And before doing so, I'm gonna make sure to shake my can really well, and then I'm gonna let the foam sit until it's completely drained out and dry. So I'm probably gonna wait about 30 minutes until I put my filters back in. So I have it pretty well filled up. I'm now gonna let it completely drain out of the evaporator. As it does that, it's gonna clean it and I'm then going to insert my air filters. Yeah, these ones got quite dirty. Okay, so it's now been about 20 minutes after I sprayed the foam. It's now started to clean and drain out the bottom of the evaporator like it's supposed to do. I'm now going to put this cap back on and then run the fan for about five minutes. Okay, so I just got done running the AC on max for about four or five minutes. Uh, and a quick tip for that is when you put this door back on up here, make sure this groove on the bottom clips in on the bottom, as well as you will have to um, secure this back up, uh, the screw, to ensure that the door doesn't come off whenever the, van, the fan starts. All right, so the evaporator system is now dry so let's put the air filters back in and then put everything back together also when doing so ensure that the arrow again is aiming this direction when you place it in and then this flap is going to be able to be at the bottom here so whenever we take these out the next time you'll lift it here and raise it up Here's the flap. Next one will be just the same, but for the top. After that's done, we'll put this side panel back in and then we'll put in the last piece. Make our two connections. Then we're going to put in our last part, which is the four clips. And that's it. Hopefully I was able to do this much quicker than other videos that are out there. It's a very basic job. I did this in a very short period of time. The longest portion was just making sure that the evaporator system got dry. Also, if you are interested in uh, seeing the quality of the paint kit after I do it, check for that video later on. Thanks for watching.